I thought physically, like they had shown her in the in the past where she's like, oh, it's so hard to walk normally because I'm used to just walking on all fours. So it was very strange for me to see her just stab that guy's throat in the blink of an eye and then hold the gun at the same time and <laughs> be like this ultimate warrior. And I'm like, aren't you supposed to be like crawling out of a well at all times and you know, back pain <laughs> and sit in your oh. Professor X wheelchair? Like, what is going on here? Welcome to Sasaga Yo Sundays. On this show, we'll be discussing the final season of Attack on Titan. I'll be your host, David, and joining me today, we have Justin. Hey, everybody. Next up, we have Taylor. Hello. Next up, we have Ku. Yo, yo. Next up, we have Sasha. Shinzo Wo. And finally, we have Brian. Sasaga Yo. <laughs> All right. so with, guest, yep. with guest appearance by Sren. Thank you. Yep. So, <laughs> final episode of of this first part of AOT of the final season. So, oh boy. I mean, can what we, do you guys think? Oh. As anime onlys. Uh, Very like, quick note. I didn't know what was going to happen going into this episode. And then I got an email notification from my anime list. Part two of season two is coming out, so I was like, or season the final season's coming out, so I was like, okay, so at least we know that. No movie. Thank you. That's all we'll say for now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I've got no movie, so I'm gonna continue with that. Um oh, okay. Well I know I'm jumping ahead to, towards ending, but I'm just saying like, man, those are the worst spot to the worst spot to end for the the the, final, the, the episode, man. But at least we'll, you get a second season. Yeah, but I'll say that for later. Um I actually really think want... it was bad. Or do you want to wait no, and no, talk not, about not, it later? Not, not bad. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Like, man, the cliffhanger was brutal. Like, oh, I mean, like, you, yep. you got you definitely got blue balls as an anime only. Like, there's no way around it. Like, so well, but Justin, do you think it was worse this way or the other way that we were thinking it was going to be? Oh man, if it was the other way, yeah, that would have been. I mean, because my first, I immediately messaged Justin after this, and I was like, oh, they went easy on the anime only. <laughs> yeah. So if you guys thought Touché. this was cool. Whew, we can't talk about the other things that we were thinking, that's, so that's fine. Stay yeah. tuned. Right. Well, just be happy. For it seemed like we did have you in consideration. <laughs> okay, yeah. good. I, I, I think, you know, honestly, Koo yeah. came to my mind when when Reiner, when they showed Reiner, and he's like, "Oh yeah, it's time to go." I just thought of Koo, and he's like, "Yo, I'm still waiting for that epic beatdown right? between Reiner and Aaron." <laughs> and uh, yeah, sorry, Koo, you just got screwed in this episode all every way. <laughs> That's the first oh, thing I thought of was oh, Kuku, it, it but he happen? dropped it, so it doesn't matter. It didn't happen? Oh, man. Okay. Oh, wait, did you actually not watch this episode? Yeah. He didn't. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, he's a man Never of mind. his word. He Never saw mind. what they wanted okay. to do with the roadmap. And... Never mind. Wow. All right. So, I mean, the one thing I, that caught my attention in this episode was really just peak, because, like, I was I was kind of, I was kind of back and forth. I was thinking, like, like she's probably, you know, she's probably lying to Aaron. But there's also is, there is a chance that she could actually generally feel this way too. But I'm just, I guess, kept thinking like, like this seems like too good to be true. Like I think she's probably, she probably will, like betray, betray Aaron at some point. So, like, but I was just thinking about just peak like back and forth. I was like, when the, when she was first like trying to appeal to Aaron, I was thinking like, oh wow, like the peak Sims are like they're getting, they're they're getting there. I don't know, like they're actually they're gonna be right soon. But then I thought, wait, this is kind of like too 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 good to be true. So I was just like back going back and forth during that episode, thinking about thinking about what, what she was gonna do. Yeah, it definitely I seems like. I you... oh, go ahead, Taylor. Oh no, I was just gonna say I think that they played her out really well this episode. Like, because I remember reading the manga and even watching the episode, I was like, man, I can't tell what she's thinking exactly. Like, I just think that her dialogue, her lines were really well written the entire way through. She's smart on her feet. And this was the first time I feel like we really got to like see it, you know? Unless I'm yeah, missing something. Everything before was always just her kind of pulling it out of nowhere and exactly as your point said. Putting you know, together obvious to things. Yeah. <laughs> obvious, right? Um I thought but, uh oh yeah, go ahead. I thought physically, like they had shown her in the in the past where she's like, Oh, it's so hard to walk normally because I'm used to just walking on all fours. So it was very strange for me to see her 
just stab that guy's throat in the blink of an eye and then hold the gun at the same time and be like this ultimate warrior. And I'm like, aren't you supposed to be like crawling out of a well at all times and you know, back pain and sit in your oh. Professor X wheelchair? Like, what is going on here? So uh, that part threw me off. But dude, the, yeah, I'm not I'm not in the peak fan. At, dude, the the part where she just like showed up suddenly and just like stabbed the guy. I'm like, again, it's like that that part of Aaron showing up out of nowhere with like with uh Armin and Mikasa oh, it's can, like oh. where, the, where the hell where the hell did she come from you know like like she's like just open the door and just like stab the guy and like how did they not hear you come in I don't know that's what I was thinking yeah, yeah. no I, I agree with that it's definitely as you said David I think in earlier episodes you were like like you know we saw a peak in the town at the end of the episode mm-hmm. and then it's like we see nothing and then to your point, through some, you know, means of her intelligence just, and, you know, I guess thinking, like, spy background, she was able to infiltrate arguably probably the most heavily secured location within Paradise. I'm just and, saying, you know, happen Aaron to know, know like where Aaron and Gabby were. Like how how'd Aaron not like notice her sneaking up like through the door or whatever? I don't know. Well like, the, the thing is I that think he, he did know. I oh, think he just didn't yeah. get it. Yeah, yeah oh, because okay. he mentioned like that he found Peak's tracks. Mm-hmm. When oh, she was okay. like, oh, I thought I was being, like, super stealthy when I, you know, infiltrated Paradise. And he's like, nah, I knew. <laughs> Chad Aaron sees everything. <laughs> dude, Chad um, Aaron's Chris dude. is. <laughs> and they came back. AOT spoilers. <laughs> okay. We okay. got it. Oh, there yeah. we go. We're live. <sighs> um, hey. Yeah, no, what, what, what did, again, did you guys think of uh, Armin's crying and, you know, the labeling of it being such a, quote, unquote, noble cause? It's so noble, guys. I'm Arvid. Look at my haircut. <laughs> <laughs> so, nobody bought it? No. Sounds like... Yeah. No, come on. No. It, it just seems so out of character for him. Like, he's never really cried at anything outside of potentially, like, losing a friend or so w- being... What, in... do you, what do you think the rationale is, then? Out of to earn their favor. I, I think it's just... So Yelena's like, oh, yes. Because remember, Yelena's all about just... She's like, I saw Zeke, and he was a god, and I want to follow him. So she seems, you know, in in that mindset of just follow, 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 and firm believer, believer. So I feel like Armin is like, yeah, I can believe too, because we both have blonde hair. Come on, let's <laughs> both believe. But I liked. Uh, I thought uh, John, Jean, Jean Claude Van Damme came off. The strongest in that whole scene because Connie. I always hated Connie. If there's one character that could really? die from the original crew, how, how yeah, do you I, hate Connie. Like, what's offensive about him? Actually, never mind. Okay. I take it all back. I take it back. I take it back. Sorry. Okay. It's all good. <laughs> I mean, Connie's um, a lovable idiot that suffered. I'd say Connie suffered a lot. I mean, look, his whole family was, you know, transformed by Zeke. And he had to all go see, like, his well mother deserved. just laying there on her oh, back in their house. Damn, man. Jesus. That's you know what was real well deserved though? Greece getting fucking clapped from Yelena when he was talking shit about Sasha. Oh yeah, I agree. That was a great moment because she's just like, "I ain't gonna stand for that," and I was like, "That's right, girl." See, that that's just I love Yelena for that moment, but I don't like her in general. Fair, okay. fair. Yep. But yeah, I thought John came off the most logical because he was the one asking, like, "Okay, why would Aaron do this? What if he was doing this on purpose?" to separate or distance himself from everybody. And I'm like, wow, that's a really good perspective to ask and to have as, you know, someone who's come from the most jarring experiences in life and someone who's been through all the devious schemes displayed within his own uh, city and army and military unit. So Connie to me is just, he looks at things at face value, which is why I never liked him. And he's always just like that. Hey guys, let's, he reminds me of Sid from uh Toy Story, so I just don't like him for those two reasons. Um, but you got Armin crying. Mikasa is still suffering. Like she's shell shocked at finding out. Like, oh yeah, my people are basically slaves to the founders and to the royal family. But she's trying to deal with that. Um, so you know, she sees eye at my book, but she really just, she, you know, come on, Mikasa. Um, and then, like I said, I, I thought John was the most logical there and level headed and took into account the perspective of. Aaron and everything that's going on. So for me, I gotta say, bonus points to John this episode. He's he's grown in my uh, favorite characters list. He's up three points into seventh place. Solid, solid. Um, 
I mean, I guess apart from that, the only, you know, other major scenes, which we kind of already touched upon, was, you know, Peak having that confrontation with Aaron and, you know, having originally Gabby kind of um, point her rifle and everything at Aaron to make them kind of, you know, keep him under lock and key. But then Aaron just completely, you know, logic flips Peak that they can't kill him and that everything that she's doing is a bluff. And then, you know, Gabby has the another kind of existential crisis. I know, of right? He's like being like, yeah, you're right. And then Gabby put the gun down and Gabby's like, what? He's like, yeah, put the gun down. Like, you say that. But then like and then at the end of the episode, when 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 like Peek, it turns out, oh, like, like, I don't actually I'm actually, you know, turning to Aaron. That's just it makes another existential crisis for Gabby. Like she just doesn't. Yeah. doesn't I mean, to, to, yeah. to give her credit, like she is what only like eight nine or ten or something like holy that. crap is I, that really how young she's supposed to be i don't, be? She's that I, don't I don't think he's like are they 12 or 13 no, they might I'm be older sure. I thought, yeah i thought they were in their like young teen. Sure. Yeah, i'm pretty sure they're at least 12 i mean yeah they're probably older better. she's anyway. 12 okay yeah. <laughs> at, least for, at least for the scouts like yeah they were 12 when they joined but yeah, yeah i don't know about marley but yeah but crabby gabby yo shout out to my boy nicolo for still sticking up for his love mm-hmm. you know oh, of course yeah yeah, yeah. That man ride or dies for Sasha. Um, <laughs> That's how we roll. That goes both ways. <laughs> yeah, for both. Sorry, yeah, I didn't even notice I had the double entendre going on there. Um, <laughs> and then, yeah, you know, when when they're, um, you know, going up the stairs and uh, Peek kind of does, like, her, her cheek and tongue, like, you know, wooing to the boys, but then we also see, you know, uh, Porco down there in the crowd and uh, oh, suddenly, God. you know, her also showing that she's chained to Gabby because I basically think that and I don't know if I picked this up originally, but I, I noticed it when watching the anime this time is like I took that as a way that like Peak originally probably meant to transform into the cart Titan as well while Porco was going to, you know, attack from below. But because she was chained to Gabby, she couldn't transform. And that was oh, her like really showing showing Porco yeah. like, hey, this plan's not going to work. Like, you know, just do what you need oh. to do or something. Oh, oh nice. that's actually a really good point. I didn't pick up on that either. That yeah. is very insightful. I, d- I did uh, like that scene, though, when he's like, all right, where's the enemy? And then, you know, we pan around almost like Matrix style. She points her finger and then it comes crashing from below and from above, just like the title yeah, of the episode. See yeah. what they did there. Oh, I see. Yeah. Um, oh, below also, and above. Also, I, um, also I, I'd rather mention this, too. The end episode, we had uh, Zeke. And we don't know what happened to Levi either. I just, I totally remember. It's like, yo, so, my man, someone explained that to me. Yeah, Levi's, they didn't show Levi. And then, what? No, he ain't I'm, dead. I'm Look at <laughs> Why do you hate him? <laughs> He's too I good. Saw, wait, Levi. I assume um, Zeke's Levi went just from re- five two to four eight. <laughs> regenerating that Titan that, that just opened up her stomach and just put him inside. Because that was really weird. Yeah, that was weird as hell. I did not remember that at all. I was like, what is happening? Did that happen in the manga? It must have happened in the manga. Yeah, always, it did. I, I forgot 100%. <laughs> well, I'm just glad he, he went in through the belly because that scene could have went many different directions. Think of like Ace Ventura in, in reverse. <laughs> but... <laughs> yeah, but... <laughs> I know. They've been doing it wrong this whole time. They shouldn't have been eating them. They should have been going the other way, and then they get unknown oh, super titan powers. Anyways, but detracting I'm, myself. I'm, Sasha, I'm still hope, don't I'm do that. Holding out hope for Levi. I hope. Yeah. I hope you'll see him. Like, like, he did, he did, man. He did. Oh god. Just believe me. He did. <laughs> Dude, he has to have some type of grave injury. Like, if he's not missing his leg, I'm gonna be mad. <laughs> We'll see. Watch. Yeah, we'll find out. Yeah, I don't know. I this was so. Like, how is everybody feeling then about the end of the season? Like, do you feel hyped for the next one, or like, did you feel like this was a good episode? Underwhelming? Like, how did you um, feel about it overall? I mean, it was so good. It's just like it's just, uh, just the cliffhanger is just annoying because it's the end of the yeah end of this first part. W- wonderful episode. Um, I definitely think. Levi is going to become the cart Titan. Don't ask me. It's one of my crazy <laughs> theories, but just, uh, yeah, the way it ended reminded me, I think it was so season three, how I was split into two halves. The first half of the season, there's, there's decent things going on, but there's a lot of buildup. And then it's like the second half was the big payoff where yep. it's like, 
one episode after another of just pure adrenaline rush. So I feel like that's what's happening with season four too. We are like, why did they stop there? <sighs> yeah, because I thought this, I was predicting this season, I thought it'd be very much like the conflict between Marley and Paradise. I thought it'd be all happening on Marley. So it sounds mm. more and more like now we're just gonna have this huge fight on Paradise. Unless, unless next season, like they take a break from the Paradise fight, and then we then and then it's gonna end with like the fight on Marley. So I've just been thinking this whole time it's gonna be this huge like mm. like we're like not be in Paradise, and we just gotta focus all on Marley. But it's like the opposite basically. So hmm, interesting. Yeah. Yeah, I'm really curious to see how things play out with David. Uh, I want to point out that, yeah, I've joined the side that I think Aaron definitely has his own plan about what he's going to do with the LD and DNA. I don't know what it is yet. I haven't really put too much thought into it, but I don't think he's going to end the bloodline in the way that's talked about with the euthanasia plan. Um, you know, the concept of freedom, I thought about it genuinely, and I'm like, yeah, Aaron is too much of a freedom fighter to do that. So his little, I'm too cool for everybody act, while I appreciate it, you know, I, I still think... He has a certain agenda in his mind. And I think that flying machine that they got from the island of the Japanese, I forgot what the hell they were called, but uh, you know how they like conveniently showed it for like a split second. They're like, by the way, here's that like jet ski propeller thing that's going to fly out of nowhere. Mm -hmm. I think they're going to have that to their aid. Um, And then once again, they mentioned how Titans are going out of style. So uh, I think that's another little treat that they're giving us as a hint hint like of how things could end to uh, as far as like weapons development and progress mm. made in science so very curious to see how things plan out i have a question for you though if you were sitting in that room with pixies what color bandana would you be wearing around your arm i'd go with white myself what about everybody else <laughs> agreed white's the jaegerist right yeah the like Jaegerist. they were in it from the get-go yeah. And then what, yep. the, the red was the ones that either like drank the wine and then were convinced to basically become basically yeah, yep. or something. Yeah. Yeah. something then like you have that. The, the black ones that were you just like pixies. Along. Yeah. Oh, I think the black or ones no. were they drank the wine and that they were still resistant to conversion. Wait, I, I, think I they thought were just the like, black was they didn't know. Yeah, they didn't know. They were like unaware oh, of no. the whole oh, situation. Okay. Yep. So mm. Brian and I were, were wearing the white bandanas. What about everybody else? I mean, I'd probably be black or red so yeah i'd definitely be a black band and i would know what the hell is going on yeah, like, god damn it like, <laughs> like wow yeah, Brian, are too, they're, too, you, they're too culty too extreme for me like i can't i can't deal with like people who are that extreme yeah and I also I, I, w- I wouldn't want to be under flock so <laughs> wow i agree <laughs> so prejudiced gosh flock is our great leader by the way, speaking of Flock, was that him at the beginning of the episode when they're like, oh, did you guys hear a uh, Thunder Spear go off? Yeah, that was, yep. 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 That was him. Mm-hmm. Him with Hanji and some of the other Jaegerists. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, the only thing I was thinking about this episode was like, because um, Arm, they're saying Armin, he turned to a Titan, and he was saying, no, that would destroy the city. But didn't they say um, they evacuated everyone in Shiganshia? Or is that some other city? Cause no, because they're they're in Shiganshia with Pixies with Yelena, right? Yeah. So yeah, they are. So couldn't so he, Armin doesn't he doesn't have to worry about anyone else. He could just transform and it, I mean, still destroy the city. Like, like, yeah, there. yeah, kill everybody yeah. that's in oh, there. Oh, kill yeah. everyone in the jail. Okay, that's what you meant. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like literally, it would kill okay. everyone. Yeah. So they would go bad. That's what he meant. Okay, but it was I, weird I, how he phrased it of like, oh, but Aaron can do this. But it'd be the same. Like if Aaron was in that jail cell, he'd still kill everybody in that room. Yeah. It's not like he mm-hmm. can get around it. Okay. Yeah. I thought I thought he was more concerned about like like the citizens, but I totally forgot the jail cell. So never mind. Yeah. Because then yeah, Armin's just... like, I got this, guys. And they're all just like, no. Yeah. And they just get vaporized. It's like, oh shit. <laughs> so. No, I, um, I think it's it's definitely uh, a frustrating note to end on of like where the season has started and where we've come to. But I think, like you guys said, it's good to know that there is light at the end of the tunnel. You're not mm-hmm. getting, you know, no information or you're not getting a, hey, we're going to do a movie that, you know, could take a year, a year plus. It's like the six to eight month mark so is take, ideally. It, 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 or have a movie that takes eight years because the director decides to make yeah. Godzilla for, for some reason. <laughs> right um 
Yeah, I think otherwise the only other thing that I could think was definitely fitting. And again, I probably didn't put these two together when I was reading the manga was just that, um, you know, we started with Marley fighting its battle and, uh, you know, that prominent focus on Reiner in the blimp looking down to, you know, go do business. And then now here at the end of this episode, we oh, have yeah. the roles reversed. Marley now coming in to deal business and who's, you know, standing there looking down at enemy number one. It's Reiner. So I don't know like who said that like that they still think like Reiner's gonna like switch sides, but like I I just That was I, me. Oh yeah. Sasha. Like I still have like, I still have like that I feel like that's that's why it's gonna happen too. I don't know, just this feeling of, like Yeah. I don't know. He's he's catching feelings, man. He's been blinded by the light of God Aaron. And I think what's gonna happen is he's gonna jump out of that plane or uh, what is it, Zeppelin? And Zeppelin. then yeah. transform midair, and then it's going to be like a fist at first, and then you're going to see his fingers extend and grasp Aaron's hand, and then together they're going to be the ultimate tag team, and then start the rumble. I have no idea, but it's going to bro fists be... with each other and then just go ham. <laughs> a man can dream, can't he? Um, of course. Yeah. No, I, I, I gotta admit this though. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take the Gabby hate oven. And open up the door a little bit to let some steam out. What she's going through is pretty, <laughs> pretty bad. So, oh um, my I will say, God, Sasha! I, I'm, I'm letting a little bit of the Gabby hate steam out. Okay, hey, so, so. <laughs> wow. today for the first time, I, I genuinely felt a little bit of uh, pain in my soul for her. I was like, "Wow, you are going through a lot, young lady. You still deserve to die and get your body crushed by Aaron, <laughs> but it's okay." <laughs> Preach. But you'll feel bad for her as it happens. <laughs> Yeah, but this time I won't like laugh at it and be like, "Take that, Gabby!" I'll, I'll I'll like, chuckle. Yeah. Yep, a slight, slight giggle. That's, That's how bad. I felt That's very dope, boy. Pretty much. <laughs> this yep. last episode, I was like, "Oh man, I actually feel things for Zeke. I never thought it was ever going to happen." Mm -hmm. So, do you think for any of you guys that are anime only, if you know we didn't get this second season in in the time period of you know eight months, would you go and read the manga? If it was, you know, longer than eight months or for me you know, right no now, no announcement or a movie or if it was like back then, I would have. But for now, it's like I'm just uh, I can just wait. Like I have so much like things to do and like so much other anime to watch and other things to occupy my time. Like I don't need to know. Like I don't need to like go like spoil myself. So, yeah. Um, It was like five years between season one, season two. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I've waited that long. I can wait another five years. I don't care anymore. <laughs> oh my gosh. Fuck it, dude. Yep, same, same here. I think five I did the same for season know. one this season two. But... Listen, I just, man. I, I read the manga. I started reading the manga after season one. Yeah, because I, I didn't want to wait anymore. And so, But then I dropped it when got to this story arc. So, Yeah, I mean, I guess the so. fact that if you've been able to, to dodge spoilers so far, then it's like, yeah, there shouldn't really yeah. be any issue for you know eight months is really not too much but i don't know man it's the final final chapter i think the fandom is going to explode in ways that they have not like exploded I ever mean, before if, if aot was like your only thing then sure i can see someone wanting to do it like i have many other things to occupy my time so i'm good yeah but yeah, I guess, like, you I know, think yeah. if I if I've been anime only, I think I wouldn't have read it right now either. I think like the only time I would have gone and read it is exactly when I did, which was at the end of season three. I feel like that drop, like where Marley got introduced and you realize there's a whole other wor like world out there was just so crazy. And I couldn't really understand what was happening. And I hate not understanding what's happening. So I, ha I had to like it was out of my control. I had to go and read it. But like. But, like, if this season had come out right immediately after that, I probably wouldn't go read the manga right now either. <laughs> I'd have waited. What if, say, like, the end of the manga wasn't coming? At this point, do you think it would warrant if you knew there was at least more material out there to go and read it? Or would you still say is anime only? Oh, I, I guess at what point would it be, like, warrant enough? Because, like you said, David, like, there's obviously something that at the end of season one, you were like, I need to go read the source material. Like, what would it take to need to do that again? And not uh, wait for the anime? Uh, for me, simple. If the anime gets announced, or uh, they come out and say anime is officially cancelled, we're not animating this anymore. 
That is the only way. So it's, yeah, it's the only route left then. Yep. Mm-hmm. Like, Other than that, I'll just wait it out. If I got the uh, death note eyes that could tell you your lifespan, then I, I would definitely. <laughs> like, oh, like, like, so you, <laughs> yeah, so you didn't know if you could actually make it to the end. It's actually <laughs> it's, it's <laughs> fucked that you say that because I was reading a thread. There's actually somebody who unfortunately has cancer, and they were like trying to connect with the author to learn like the ending of Attack oh, on wow. Titan because they don't think they were gonna make it till the you know final chapter. Jeez. I don't know what happened to that thread, but I was just like, okay. damn. That's fine. Um, that's heavy. That's, Justin, I'll say like yeah. if if like what if like three years pass and we didn't get any anime announcement, then maybe I'll start reading something like that. Yeah, you guys have a lot of patience. Yeah, they have I, for real. I told, I, told I, have you, I, I have I have other things to occupy my time. So AOT is not my only thing I could focus on. So hmm. yeah. Well, anyways, do we have anything else to say about that? Any any closing thoughts about this week? Before the, uh, the do that cliffhanger, oh. bro. I mean, it's gonna Open be crazy for me and Taylor to get the the finale of the series. It's I like, know, you know a decade's know. worth of work of we just got like a week left, right? Like, yeah. oh my god, that's gonna be. I, I like, like right. can't handle it. I was like anxious to even watch this episode today. I waited until like the last half hour before this podcast started. <laughs> I don't know why. I just am feeling so anxious about everything. I just wasn't ready to dive into this. Knowing wow. that, like, the ending is right around the corner. <laughs> it's crazy. I was texting I mean, so Justin, was... and he's like, bro, they delayed it by an hour. And I was like, dude, I hate you. I hate my life. Why? No, it was kind of annoying how they delayed it from, you know, uh, it used to be 1245 Pacific. And then last week they did 145 Pacific. And oh, then this week they decided they did 145 savings. Pacific again. Yeah. Uh-huh. Well, no, they just oh, delayed oh. it because of. Mm-hmm whatever reason but oh. it's like the whole season before you were doing it at you know 12 45 or 2 45 your guys time and now they changed it for these last two it's like yeah. oh why we sure not that it was... matters like i'm not gonna die you know not seeing it yeah. within that hour but but you sure it wasn't because daylight savings because japan doesn't do daylight savings so oh that's that all makes sense. Sense. yeah japan doesn't I didn't do about so, that. so that, everything that's japan... that's 100 percent why gets yeah. <laughs> so much, everything See, this japan. is why i'm always glad we have david <laughs> to keep us number one in terms of all japanese cousins i'm just like tunnel vision here like What's going on? Oh, the rest okay. of the world doesn't just exist. Keep on according to our schedule. Come on. This is why. This is why I don't want daylight savings time. I want to be on. You know what the rest of the world is doing. Consistency, <laughs> man. Uh, Consistency. but yeah. Eight months. Hope everybody has. You know, a lot of stuff preoccupied. It sounds like uh, David does. D- but... Dude, I don't. I, I, again, I didn't even start Monster Hunter. So. Right. Yeah, that's right. true. We got. <laughs> Let's wrap up the let's wrap up the stream yeah, guys yeah, so we yeah. can get this video going. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so that's gonna be it. So that's that's it for us for so go Sundays. We'll return once AOT returns. So come and join us and go yeah, through all this all us. over again. We so. still do Plus, do Lucy's right shut up. Yes. Yeah, shut we also up. do our normal podcast as well where we talk about a bunch of other shows as well. Yeah, but this is special. Yeah. This AOT final season. Yeah. So so we'll be back. And yeah, and join us for the other um other podcasts and for our other shows, other discussions. So thanks thanks for uh, for everyone who's been with us here for this long. Thanks everyone. Yeah. Thanks all the new people. Yep. Thank yeah. you. We appreciate it. We'll be back. See you guys for the next one. Yep. Yes. See you next time. Bye. Adios. Nos bye. vemos. Roll that outro bye. music trend. Yeah. Bye bye. <laughs>